What is happening? What is going on? Guys, welcome back to the off-grid garage here in sunny, hot Australia. Actually, that's a lie. Oh, we still got some sun here. But it has cooled down from the initial 110 amps outside to now, um, I don't know, zero amps basically, because the battery is full. We are floating. Solar and battery stuff is so easy in summertime. And in the last video, we had a look at the JKESS BMS. Some of you have referred to it as the Jackass BMS. Thank you so much for all your comments and sharing your thoughts about this BMS under this video. So it turns out that this JKESS BMS, the Jackass, is not made by G Kong or JK BMS. This is completely separate from the JK BMS we all like the BD series of JK BMS or the inverter style BMS here. Completely separate, different BMS manufacturer and everything. And I didn't know. I didn't know. Until yesterday night when G Kong, the manufacturer of the JK BMS, actually got in contact with me and asked, Andy, why did you make this video? It is harming our business. And I said, what? What is going on? You have requested this video. You sent me this shit here to test. And I made the video, the first one of many. And I said, no, this is not one of our BMSs. This is not a JK BMS. It's not, made, it's not being made by G-Kong, nothing. So I was under the assumption that this BMS is a JK BMS, a further development, a generation five of the JK BMS as we already know. So yesterday and this morning, I had a lengthy discussion with both the Chengdu Jikong Technology Corporation, as well as the owner of the JKBMS official store on AliExpress. And there was a big misunderstanding and confusion about the JKESS BMS, because I was always under the impression it comes from the same manufacturer from Jikong as the JKBMS is because it has been sold on the JKBMS official store on AliExpress. Because, well, it looks like a JKBMS, right? It used the same terminals, the same material for the case. It used the same connectors. It is just a further development of a JK BMS. But um, it turns out, no, it's not. And in our conversations for the last couple of months, when we discussed this JK ESS BMS, I always refer to it as the, the new JK BMS. And they never said, oh, Andy, no, 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 no. This is not a JK BMS. This is a complete separate development from a different company. This has nothing to do with Kong or JK. It is a different BMS and we are just selling it on Ali, AliExpress and Alibaba. But they never did. They never, they never told me it's not a JK BMS. But to their defense, they also never said it is a JK BMS. This was only my assumption because it looks like one, it feels like one, and they're selling it like one on the official JK BMS store. So why wouldn't you think it is not a JK BMS if nobody says anything? So this was the whole misunderstanding from the beginning and it was never cleared up until yesterday, until I made the first video about the JK ESS BMS and everyone started texting me and said, Andy, what are you doing? They said, <laughs> I'm just the guy with the camera here. Oh, it started raining. From where? Oh, the, the rain is actually warm. Can you believe it? It is actually warm. Ah, uh, must be from there somewhere. I don't know. So after having these discussions with both of these gentlemen, I think we are cleared up now. I've made this statement. I apologize again here for making this mistake and calling this a JK BMS, which it is not. And many of you have said, well, Andy, show what this BMS can do. Show us the balancer, how it works, if it works, how the technology works, how the settings are, how good is the state of charge calculation estimate in this BMS. So let these two companies figure this out and we concentrate more here on the technical part as always. So let's move on with the JK ESS BMS, connect this to our test battery and have a look at the software. So I have now connected the balance cables here to our terminal block. Also have connected the negative coming from the battery to the BMS. And the positive is not coming from the battery positive here because this would be 48 volt, right? This is just an 8S system. So we have to use the 12 volt, which is cell number four. And this is the cable which goes to battery positive. So hopefully this will not get us any sparks here. No, it doesn't. So negative and positive is now connected. Okay, we're now plugging in the balance cables to the BMS, noise, and now we turn it on. Got a green light. This is 
No beep. Ah, the buzzer. We've forgotten the buzzer. There it is. Okay, let's try again. Ooh. Oh. I think we've got an alarm. Okay, maybe I shouldn't have connected this buzzer. I'll just take it off for a moment. I don't want to have this beeping here. I need to install the app first on my mobile phone and computer. Okay, here's the JK app on my mobile phone. Add device. Whoa. Ah, okay, these are all my Bluetooth devices. Refresh. Why is it showing all the Bluetooth devices available? Oh, there's more. Hang on. Now we can scroll. This could be it. CMT4531. I've never seen this before here in the garage. Let's try to connect to this. Ooh, I think we are connected. Yes, we are. We are. Okay, 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 okay. So we have 13.10 volts. That is a completely different UI. Average voltage 1.64 volts. What? Battery. Ah, hang on. Cell count is still on 8. Okay, let's go into parameter settings. Um, uh, it's with hibernate, current, uh, cell count. Can I click on that somehow? No, can't. Okay, it shows the voltages of cell 1 to 4. 5 to 8 is off, obviously, because we've got a 4S battery now. So I need to change the cell count. Oh, wow. Um, average start, so parameter can hibernate, current restrictions, higher fan temperature, protocol, state of charge, parameters. Oh, wow, well, there's more. Hang on. Configuration parameters, level 1, 2, 3 alarm. Monolithic shield settings. State of charge, overcurrent settings, and that's it. Charge state, discharge state, reset state. And now I want to change it to a 4S. Where do I do that? Average start. Oh, I can change the balancing here from SOC balance to passive balance to no balance and no passive balance. Oh, interesting. Can speed, hibernate, current restrictions, high and low edge, fan temperature, protocol settings. I just want to change the cell count, please. Okay, I'm following the instructions in this uh, PDF document they have sent me about the app and the BMS. So the first thing they want us to do is an update. So I'll click on mine here in the bottom right hand corner, go to firmware upgrade and ah, there's the list. Wow. Okay. So we are on 24.7.25 and the actual is 24.10.24. Okay, click. Upgrade, come on. Are you sure you want to upgrade? Yes. Okay, oh, that was easy. And they said something like this in the manual, actually. So they are uploading the firmware file onto their server and the app connects to their server. So you always get the latest uh, firmware update for your BMS. So that is pretty convenient, actually. Okay, it just went to 100% and then it wants me to reconnect via Bluetooth. So... Where is it? Oh, jeez, come. This is all not it. Okay, restart again. My goodness. Um, the BMS does not show anymore. Great. No. Okay, I'll turn it off now. Let's see what's happening then. The, big one. the manual actually says after 100% you should wait a minute and then restart the BMS so the program can upgrade. <sighs> okay. Okay, here, come on. Ruby. No, 
It is not showing anymore. That was it. I wonder if it still beeps when I plug in the... Yes, it still beeps. Not anymore. So it is alive. But why is it not showing anymore here? Definitely not there. It finds everything else but this BMS. I go a bit closer here, just in case it needs a bit more love. No, it doesn't show. Okay, toggle Bluetooth again. JK ESS. Add device. It shows all of them, right? All of them. But not, but not the JK ESS BMS anymore. All right, my friends, I think this is the end of the video for now because there is no Bluetooth connection to the JK ESS BMS anymore. I've tried everything. I turned off Bluetooth multiple times. I even restarted the phone, restarted the BMS a couple of times. It doesn't show up in the list anymore. For whatever reason, after the update, there is no BMS to connect to anymore. That is pretty good. See, I updated to uh, 24.10.24. That's the latest and greatest. And that's it. Bluetooth not connected. I know. I know. It's definitely not here anymore. I tried everything. <sighs> I'm so over this shit which does not work. You cannot believe it, really. I would rather like to work with Ji Kong together and fix the version 40 and version 15 of the JK inverter BMS. Then testing this JK ESS BMS, which does not work anymore on Bluetooth after the update. I'm spending hours and hours and hours and hours here in the garage and achieving nothing. It's disgusting, really. It finds all my other Bluetooth devices, but not this BMS anymore. Even if I put it on top of it and do a refresh, there's nothing. It's not here. So I've now swapped the BMS with the second one they sent me and connected negative positive battery switch balance cables are coming now. Okay, all connected. Okay, let's turn this one on. It's not beeping. Okay, let's go refresh the side. There it is, CNT4531. So this one works still. Okay, we go into the BMS. It connects. It gives us a level three alarm under voltage, but I also cannot find the location where I can change the cell count. I cannot click on it. So I need to go in parameter settings, uh, host parameters. There's nothing in here. See NTC number settings, eight pieces down here. We don't have eight NTCs. We've got only four. Why is it eight? And I cannot even change it. There are 16 and 19 pieces. Um, these are all the balance parameters, obviously. There's nothing to change here. State of charge parameters, 70%. Okay, system capacity, 100 ampere hours. If I go in here and change this to seven and click on save settings, uh, insufficient permissions, yeah? So that means I need to go into mine, go into request for access and put in the level two password, which I got from this nice gentleman, but it doesn't work. And then he sent me this file again where I have to upgrade the BMS to the latest firmware. So I said, yeah, well, firmware upgrade. So we are as well here on 24.10.24. We click on upgrade again, sure. And it does the update again on this second BMS. Okay, let's wait until this is finished again. Cheese. 
Oh, you know what is coming soon? Not again. The update is successful. Please reconnect to Bluetooth. Okay, and then it doesn't do anything anymore here. You can just go... Bluetooth not connected. So it disconnects actually after the update automatically. Real st okay, and then it goes into the scan. And then it doesn't show anymore. Okay, let's give it... Let's give it a few minutes and before I turn it off, I don't want to interrupt any magic stuff which is happening here. But um, it looks like I've lost both now. Okay, let's give it a few minutes. I'll be back. Okay, before the big storm comes, let's test this one again. Update, update, refresh, and have a look where this DM, whatever is, it's not there. It is not there. So I'm turning off the BMS now after three minutes. It's off. I'll put in the buzzer again so we can hear what's going on. Oh, I didn't mention the Frankenstein battery. Turn it back on. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Uh, refresh on the app. Come on. No, it's not there. It is just not there anymore after the update. I hate this like the worst disease, really. I don't know what's going on here, but I followed the instructions, upgraded both BMS with the newest firmware now, and now no Bluetooth connection anymore. I cannot connect the app to it. The password they gave me doesn't work either with the app, so I cannot change any parameters in there, not even the um, capacity from 100 ampere hours down to seven, doesn't allow me insufficient permissions. And I've looked through all the settings and I cannot find the cell count. This is unproductive as hell. It looks like the app the BMS, the software is all in alpha state somewhere. It is not working correctly together. After the update, I'm losing connection to everything. Can't set the cell count anywhere. But on the positive side, four, five, seven it is at the moment. Guys, thank you so much for 98,457 subscribers on the channel. We are almost there, we are almost there. Far more exciting than testing this JK ESS BMS, where I constantly run into obstacles, things not working. Disgusting. I don't like it. I've got no... I don't want to keep testing it. I hate the app, looks shit. The BMS does not work correctly. So next video we will do something completely different. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support. Thanks for all your hundreds of comments under the last couple of videos here especially the last one when we had a first look at the jk ess bms the features the hardware it just doesn't seem to work correctly i don't know why thanks for all these wonderful and beautiful people who are donating to the channel buy me a beer here in sunny hot australia thank you so much for that and until the next video when we 100 percent do something completely different than testing this bms until then guys you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. So it looks like I've um, bricked both now. Amazing. Just by an online firmware update. How good is that?